Hey guys, it's Ryan again. Uh, hopefully my last video of the week. Um, but I did want to do a quick overview of the style guide. I was able to work it into the Magento 2 build process, um, specifically the grunt build process. I was unable to figure out how to get it to hook into the uh, the PHP, I'm sorry, the, the Magento PHP command line interface build process, but I, I think that's fine because I don't really anticipate us using that uh, very much. And the way I have this set up, we can um, we can actually uh, publish or create the style guide and then uh, have them version controlled by putting them in the proper directory, which I have done here. Um, this video, I want to I wanna first start off by going over KSS real quick for you guys. Um, uh, and, you know, the idea of a style guide. Super simple, super quick. I want this to sort of be a technical showcase uh, for you to imitate and for us to use going forward um, with a, the Ruby platform. So let's get started. Uh, Nile style sheets, as a quick um, refresher, it stands for, well, KSS stands for Nile style sheets. Um, it's named after a person, uh, KSS, uh, someone named Nile. And it's really just a way of documenting things. Uh, if you need to, you know, you know, quick look at how things are documented, I just say check out the website, uh, or check out the stuff that I've already uh, put in, uh, you know, I've, I've shown elsewhere. Um, now, it's originally made in Ruby. However, there is a Node uh, version of KSS that's actually really powerful and super quick that I am a huge fan of. And all I've done is add it to our uh, package.json right here. I could probably add it to the dev dependencies, but this is just a showcase. Um, and once we install that, um, we have KSS up and running and can do whatever we want with it. But I wanted to specifically add it into the command line interface for, uh, for our grunt usage. So we know we have yarn grunt clean for all of our Magento 2 static uh, files and assets and stuff like that, right? Well, how do we do it with a style guide? Well, I had to learn how to work with uh, the way Magento 2 does its grunt setup, which thankfully is not super difficult. Here is the, um, the task setup that I created um, using just grunt uh, dot register task. Um, you can set it up kind of like this. Um, this, by the way, is in our dev tools grunt um, tasks folder. I just named it kss.js. Pretty much just copied things from like the, uh, I think I copied this. Yeah. And then did a little bit of reading in the grunt documentation and it got me up to this uh, point, which is pretty far along, frankly. Um, so all this says is here's a new grunt command, which is style guide. Here's what it does. And then it passes in the option which if you know a lot about grunt, every, anything I put after the colon here is considered part of the uh, options. So like clean, theme, and then you can put all you want and they're all passed in as extra function arguments to that um, particular task. So I only have one here, um, and I only have one config, but if you actually, if you see right here, KSS is fully configurable through uh, JSON files, which I put in the um, dev tools config uh, KSS dash whatever the theme it is uh, dot JSON. So what this script or task does is it loads up, uh, it tells uh, Grunt that we're going to use, we're going to do a, an asynchronous task. Um, it then uh, loads up the desired config file through the command line ar argument. And in the future, if I want to have it compile all um, style guides, if I just run a uh, yarn grunt style guide, I'd have to do something like, uh, you know, list all of the um, files with uh, KSS, um, you know, star.json as the uh, globe pattern, uh, and then run all those through the style guide. Simple, uh, but I just want to do a quick proof of concept here. Um, so what this does is it just loads the config you pass in. Right now, we, again, we only have the one of my simple theme here, Petsy. Uh, has those as the options, runs KSS, or run, yeah, runs KSS with those options, and then tells Grunt that we're done. And if there's an error, it'll throw an error. 
very, very simple. Everything I, I use to make this can be found in the Grunt docs or the KSS docs. I did not even need to go into the Magento 2 docs for it. So very cool. Um, as an example of what the uh, PetSafe JSON looks like, again, super simple. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that um, you will see in the KSS style guide, uh, if you look at their JSON, uh, well, maybe they don't have it in the, uh, in the node version uh, of the demo. Uh, let's see if I can find it for you real quick. In their own, uh, yeah, config.json, they have this thing where it's the source uh, and destination paths are relative to this file. That's actually not true here. It's actually relative to, uh, because we're running it from Grunt, this is going to be relevant, I'm uh, sorry, relative to the uh, directory out of which uh, your Grunt, uh, your Grunt, what's it called? Gruntfile.js is located. So here we're running it from our Magento 2 directory. And so we want to tell um, our style guide that these are our two main directories where our, uh, where our, style, where our styles are located. It's actually uh, going to be relative to the just base Magento 2 directory. It's really the only thing to keep in mind. So what this does, um, our base one, it goes, it, it, it cycles through our base styles, and then it cycles through our uh, Petsy files. And then it um, spits them out into this destination folder, which is the pub slash style guide folder, uh, well, slash Petsy folder. Uh, it uses the PetSafe Builder, which I have also put in the DevTools folder under the Style Guides directory. Um, you can learn more about builders uh, just by looking at the uh, Node, KSS Node implementation, and just looking at the builders it uses. They're very, very simple. The big thing here is the index.hbs. Um, just threw something together. Nothing, nothing particularly fancy. And I believe that's it. Very, very simple. Uh, let me go back to config, grunt configs. Yep, that's it. So let me just give you an example of how this looks now. Grunt uh, style guide, pet safe. This is gonna load up the JSON, uh, work through our um, pet safe uh, styles, and then it's gonna spit it out at uh, your link slash style guide slash uh, pet safe slash uh, index.html. Still need to do a little bit of work to figure out how to get it to resolve the path, path without the index.html. But even if we never figure that out, it's still pretty useful because here's the style guide that it compiled. We have typefaces, links, components. Um, I'm also going to need to figure out how to get the JavaScript. Uh, imported. Not a huge deal. It should not be either. Just didn't do it for this particular task. Um, but yeah, very simple, very cool. Um, in the future, I want to make sure that we, um, that, that this does something a little differently, this KSS, the, the style guide task. In the future, I instead want it to run the grunt exec task first. Um, so that it moves everything from the theme you chose uh, into the pub um, static front end, well, it's not here, but into the theme, the proper theme directory. And that way we don't really need any of these uh, except for maybe a couple of, um, we might have them just as a way to show where a destination should be and what builder to use. Um, but the reason we want to do that is because with this setup, um, it's actually going to, uh, KSS doesn't know about Magento's fallback patterns. So if we override things in um, our uh, child theme, this PetSafe theme, uh, that has, that changes our documentation for our base theme, it's actually going to either, it's going to duplicate that documentation, which can cause KSS to, to kind of go on the fritz a little bit. So. What I'd like to do is to just run a full EXEC of our uh, of the template or even the full style guide, and then run uh, the source th uh, through the instead of pointing it directly to the theme. I'd actually just like to point it into the pub static direct front end directory, 
because um, if you remember from uh, past videos, things in development mode that are uh, piped into that directory, they're actually symlinks to what's in the theme directory. Um, and it keeps that, therefore it'll preserve all the comments, it'll preserve the, uh, the, uh, the paths to your, uh, to the proper less files. Um, there's really, the only thing compiled in there are the entry points and all of the comments are removed. So that is a, I think a simplified way to do it, uh, that I hope to, uh, keep up in the future, uh, to change in the future. But for your projects going forward, for people who aren't, um, on my specific team, uh, but also for us going forward on my team, I hope this can be a nice way to work a style guide process into Magento 2. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.